Hello everyone, this is Kristen with the LTRC. Thank you for joining us for how to find new clients online with our sponsor for Legal Leads as part of the LTRC Industry Insight Series held every Wednesday. Our speakers today are Jennifer and Vince Wingerter. Vince is the CEO and founder of Four Legal Leads, one of the fastest growing companies on the INC 5000. Annie has helped connect legal consumers and lawyers for 20 years. With his passion for 100% marketing attribution, he has been a leader in his field for online marketing since the late 90s and is a member of the Young Entrepreneur Council. Jennifer is the Director of Operations at Four Legal Leads. She is committed to providing top of the line customer service and a quality experience to both lawyers and consumers while maintaining a workplace where team members are excited to drive clients towards success. Thank you all for joining us. We will now begin the webinar. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. Um, as introduced, my name is Vince. I'm the founder of forlegalese.com. Uh, I've been in the industry for about 20 years and I'm very passionate about legal marketing. Um, after this call, if anyone ever has any questions about legal mar marketing, not just in relation to our services, but just the vertical as a whole, you're always welcome to shoot me uh, a message on LinkedIn or at vincentforlegalleads.com, and I'm always willing to help those. Uh, those questions, something I'm really passionate about. So for LegalLeads.com has been around a while and uh, we're constantly innovating. Um, I myself have been in the industry generating leads uh, since 2001 or a little bit before. Uh, my background is a passion for online marketing campaigns. Um, over those 20 years, provide leads uh, for the legal services industry um, in a variety of categories, but it wasn't until about a decade ago that we started opening it up to retail attorneys. Um, so attorneys could come directly to us and begin receiving more leads for their law firm. And uh, just to check, can everyone hear me okay? Is the volume pretty good levels? Okay, great. Um, so what we do, so unlike, you know, all those dozens of calls you get from SEO companies, you know, promising to rank your website and, you know, it's kind of a long game where you invest tons of money and you don't really know what results you're going to get or there's a lot of smoke and mirrors and you're kind of paying over time hoping you get results we're very results oriented um, what that means is um, coming from a result-based marketing where i focus a lot more on results than branding for legal leads belief is that um, there's thousands actually millions of consumers consumers small businesses and other people needing legal services they're out there searching for you already they're searching for your competitors and they're just not getting connected to you so for legal leads takes those tens of thousands of requests per week and we connect them to attorneys. So really our mission at forlegalleads.com is not only to provide um, the access for those seeking legal help to find attorneys, but also to grow our attorney network as well in the marketing um, platform so that there are attorneys available for those seeking legal help. Um, we're pretty ambitious, unlike all our competitors, um, we probably have the widest scope of categories. Of course, the top categories tend to be auto injury, you know, workers' comp, personal injury, bankruptcy, SSDI, things like that. But we actually handle 40 plus categories. Um, so what we do, what our product is, is instead of you paying a flat rate or paying for SEO services or paying to rank, basically um, we do the marketing um, both natively and with, you know, exclusive relationships. And we are bringing in those um, seeking legal help um, from an attorney. And then our, our job is to help connect those to attorneys like yourself so that you have more um, prospects for cases in your law firm. Uh, these are people that are coming in anyway. So if you're not with us, they're probably just skipping onto your competitors. You know, one of the top questions or uh, one of the feedback we get, we have a very high success rate of people becoming clients. But now and then when we get someone who says, oh, well, I'm already advertising on Google, I'm already doing this. Uh, well, the bottom line is if um, these people are coming to us, they're probably not they're not coming to you through Google ads. So it makes sense for those people to connect with you again, instead of skipping on to the other law firms in your area. So how do we do this? So everything we do is inbound. That means we're not email blasting. We're not, you know, calling out to people, asking them if they need an attorney. Um, this is done through varieties of search, through program, programmatic advertising, um, through all kinds of different campaigns. Um, in the last few years, we've added call campaigns as well to lead campaigns because calls are very big now. Um, but we, we firmly believe in the duality of both leads and calls, meaning just like if someone called in during your office during the day to connect with you on the phone, you definitely wouldn't want to turn on the people, you know, that request off your website to be contacted after hours. 
So we are definitely a lead company, but we do offer live calls as well. And uh, we have some exciting announcements coming up that we're, we're getting a lot more call volume coming up in different categories nationwide. So what do we do? So Jennifer will go over later how it works when you set up on our platform. But basically, we try to be extremely transparent. What this means is there's no long-term contracts. You know, we're not going to lock you into anything. We're not interested in you coming in and funding once. We really want you to be successful and work your intake and your conversion rate so it works for you, so that you want to keep you know, funding your account constantly. Um, so what you do is you fund your account, and that makes you eligible for leads and uh, from in calls from categories and locations. Um, we'll go over the details, but you're able to set up basically the locations you want to target for your like a law firm, whether it's a single location or multi-location firm. You can decide which areas of practice your firm can handle. It's also a good opportunity if your firm uh, handles some tangent areas or, areas or dabbles in it to explore those. And, um, and pretty much uh, you can choose if you want to get just leads or if you're ready to handle intake for calls as well. Our clients range from solo law firms and family law, you know, just taking calls and, and leads straight off their desk to, you know, huge auto injury firms who have call centers of people ready to take calls and leads. So we really do help solo to mid-sized law firms across the country. Um, some of the biggest firms as well that have huge marketing campaigns on TV and elsewhere still come to us because they just basically want, you know, more share of the pie. So even though they're doing huge campaigns on TV, radio and all that, um, they just want to connect consumers. Um, for me, it's very, I'm very passionate about this. Um, you know, I think there is a, a justice gap with there's a lot of people up there. I mean, we see it again and again, um, needing legal help. And I don't think it's a failing of the, uh, you know, traditional attorney system. I just think with the change of technology, you know, phone books and billboards and all those things that worked 20, 30 years ago, more and more people are f seeking legal help online. And, um, well, every law firm should have their own website and, of course, do all those things. The bottom line is um, you're competing with other big national companies and services that are trying to take those prospects for you. So we really offer the ability not just to help the consumer, you know, close the justice gap and end up finding an attorney instead of going to court without one and trying to do it on their own. But we also help solo and midsize and even large national firms um, connect to more of those prospects out there who are seeking legal help. So that's pretty much what we do. Uh, no contracts. Um, you pretty much can cancel your account at any time if it doesn't work for you. Uh, we start everyone with manual funding, but we have lots of attorneys that turn on auto funding. So if their account gets low, it just rebuilds so you know, they don't have to deal with the hassle, but that's up to you. We don't force you into any of that. Um, all leads are exclusive in real time, which is really important. Uh, to that, we mean, you know, it's not like other home services where, you know, they send out the lead to four contractors and you all race to see who can get to it first. Um, you know, your time's really important. So we, when someone comes in, um, we rotate and connect that with the next person. Um, and then uh, you don't have to raise, but of course you want to get out there right away and connect to them because uh, of course, if they don't hear from you, they might try looking elsewhere. They might be in a hurry to, you know, find someone to retain. Um, let's go ahead and jump to the next slide. So basically I always, you know, our support team always laughs at me, but I like to say, um, we offer uh, a chance to access the rest of the pie. Um, so that means if you're doing Google Ads, if you're doing SEO, maybe you know, you're one of those firms that you're like, I don't need more clients. My firm's great, we're so busy as it is. The bottom of the line is leads and calls aren't just for people who don't have enough clients. Uh, they're really for people who want to have a wider array of prospective clients to choose from, uh, to know which cases they want to take, um, to be able to see if those they can help, to cast a wider net, and and honestly, just to um, to help people that need legal help, but at in a way that makes sense for your firm and is, is profitable. Um, so one of the poll questions, as you see, is could your law firm improve its ability to connect online with potential clients? Um, we have the ability, when a lead comes in, whether it's off a website or whether it's a call, to send that to you instantly, uh, to notify the prospect uh, that you'll be connecting with them and give it to you so you can either yourself connect with them or have your intake team connect to them or have someone in your office connect to them. Um, if it's a call, uh, we can transfer that call to you instantly. Um, we're very proud of the fact that we have a lot more call volume coming up and we are having a lot more controls to make sure that the quality is good and that it's not just not wasting your time, but not wasting the consumer. We want to make sure the right category is correct, um, that it's within the statute of limitations, you know, that, you know, um, it makes sense for both parties. Now, we aren't selling sales. Um, you know, we 
basically try to follow the most common denominators for all the bar associations across the country. So what that means is even if a state does allow fee splitting or something like that, we don't do that. So basically all our costs are based on the category and the location, and we're simple, simply charging based on marketing. So you pay per call and per lead, regardless if that closes for you. And then it's our job, of course, to get you the best leads and calls so that all backs out and makes sense for you. Um, this model works good because of course, um, it follows the guidelines. And um, we have customers who have been with us for years, half a decade, a decade, um, and they're funding every week. So obviously it works for them. Um, we also have some pretty advanced features that helps not just you and us, but the rest of the lawyers across the country. You can enter dispositions back, which let us know uh, basically which you know, subsets of our campaigns are leading to cases closing, which ones are not, which ones have lower contact rate if it's not calls, that sort of thing, because of course our interest is to improve your success and uh, that of the consumer as well, while wasting uh, less of everyone's time with what's not working. And so that feedback loop is very important for us. Um, for leads, we do have a return system as well. So within five days, you uh, have a lead that's invalid, wrong category, wrong location, something that was caused by the consumer not understanding their category, say it's criminal defense, but they're trying to bring criminal charges. You, of course, can return those leads and we credit that back to your account. All right. Um, so we have really good capability when it comes to providing you the tools to succeed. So if you're ready to get leads, in calls, yeah, you think either you could use and grow your law for more, you could add locations, you have attorneys that have the time, or you just want more prospective clients to choose from, we can get you those calls and leads in real time. We also have the ability to integrate with any system. So whether you're using Clio or Law Ruler, the list goes on. Pretty much if it has an open API, we can connect to it. So you can get leads the traditional way by email or phone or text message, but we also can at the same time post that straight into your CRM or other pro, um, platform you're currently using in your tech stack. Okay, let's look at the next slide. So what is a legal lead? A legal lead is someone who is seeking a law firm. So as an example, if it's auto injury, we're asking, was there another identifiable party at fault? Uh, was this an accident within the last X amount of years? Because that of course varies by state. Um, we pay very close attention to the statute of limitations for each state to make sure that you don't get leads outside those statute of limitations for each state. Um, we make sure that already currently not working with attorney because of course there's ethical reasons there. Plus, of course, it's wasting both yours and the consumer's time if they are. In addition, um, we are basically usually getting comments, descriptions of what their current issue is. An example of auto injury, we're confirming that there is in fact an injury um, you know, it's not just a traffic ticket, that sort of thing. We have another category for traffic law. Um, and that's just an example. Um, and with other categories, it's going to vary each, you know, SSDI is going to have things related to age and if they're out of work and if that sort of thing. Um, so when a lead comes in, it's basically inbound. Uh, the intent was there if they're seeking out an attorney. Um, they're looking for an attorney in their area and they're looking for an attorney that handles that area of practice. Uh, then we connect that to you either as a lead or as a call, depending on how you're set up, hopefully both so you can get the most leads possible. And uh, that gets handed off to you in real time. And then from there, of course, not every lead will convert, but the goal is that by the time, you know, you look at the percentage of leads that do convert, it makes sense for you, it makes sense for us, it makes sense for the consumer, and then we can spin up and increase those campaigns so everyone can grow together. Let's go ahead and move on to the next slide. So here's a little bit of us talking to you, but it's nice to have a visual. So we started traditionally as a web lead company, and then at least five years ago, we started doing calls as well. We have the ability to send calls to you as well. So actually, when um, a consumer comes in, uh, if there's a lawyer available for the call, we'll try to transfer that out. Sometimes lawyers are you know, handling cases, they're in court. Uh, concurrency, which is the amount of calls that a, a large law firm can take is sometimes maxed out. So then also we'll convert those into web leads. Sometimes the leads are coming in past hours, but they still need an attorney just as much. In fact, we've seen um, a lot of feedback from attorneys that have been thanked our support team, thanked our company because they closed huge cases and you know there are huge settlements and sometimes they came from web leads, not calls. So there's definitely advantages to each. Um, I recommend both. So you can of course have the most prospects available. Live calls are nice and that you don't have to deal with any sort of phone tag back and forth. Um, yeah, so they both have their advantages. Um, all these are exclusive. 
it's very important we define what exclusivity is because some of our competitors have redefined the term so that um, they can use the word exclusive. And by that, when they say exclusive, they mean, oh, we're limited to like three law firms in our city or something like that. We don't do that. What we do instead is we make sure that the lead goes just to you and not to your competitor. So if you and a few other attorneys are all wanting the same category in your area, um, we rotate those leads as they come in in those calls. And as long as you're funded and your accounts are active and you're turned on for that category and area of practice, you're eligible for that lead and rotation. And then of course, it's our goal just to increase volume so that everyone is content. Though we find that uh, actually what we get more of is people wanting more and more phone calls and more and more leads, which I think is a testament to that it works for a lot of people. Uh, Real-time delivery is just that. I'd say 95% of our leads are real time. Why 95% you say? Because quality is very big to us. And so we will occasionally flag um, leads if there's words that are you know, profanity or words that look like it's um, in a certain category where um, it doesn't make sense, say maybe they're incarcerated, things like that. Um, we go and we look at those reviews to make sure that, um, or maybe they say they already have an attorney. Certain things will sometimes flag the lead, and then we have actual human beings that look at that just to make sure um, that we can pass that lead on and it makes sense. But we try to do everything in real time, um, and then uh, if we have to reprocess something, it usually goes out minutes later. Um, and basically, this all just basically leads to more ways for you to get leads and more ways for you to win new clients, which is our goal here. So have you worked with a lead generation company before? Um, we have really good success with our customers and we're really happy um, building those relationships. Uh, we really pride ourselves on our feedback loop. Um, for, for starters, probably one of the things that messes things up for us the most are SEO companies. You know, a lot of people don't know what leads and calls are and they're like, oh no, I get a call from an SEO company every week. You know, they're trying to get me to rank higher in a keyword. Here's what you need to know. Do your Google, do your SEO, you know, we're ranking on a quarter of a million keywords. We are monitoring those for success. We're monitoring those for how well they close in the cases that win. Um, we're doing that nationally. We're doing that in 40 plus categories. We've been doing that with data for like 20 plus years. So we aren't competing from you or taking away from what you're doing. We're, we're not redundant. Um, we're basically just adding on to, in a massive way, to what you're already doing. And we're providing those leads to attorneys. We're doing programmatic advertising, we exclusive relationships sort of with publishers that specialize in categories or have content sites related to different categories of law. So basically by partnering with for legal leads, not only are you getting leads you're not getting, but you're also cutting out the middleman. Um, we have a lot of people who want to buy leads from us for um, firms that they consult, things like that. Um, there's other marketing companies out there selling leads and calls, but a lot of them are buying from us and then reselling them. Um, so by working with forlegalese.com, you're just basically cutting closer to a source and adding on to what you're already doing. Um, we're also proud of the fact that we do allow returns on the web leads. Um, phone calls should have far less returns, if any, because um, a lot of those are going through our, our live call reps to screen the categories, make sure that's all correct. Um, but uh, we do a lot for feedback. As mentioned earlier, if you get an invalid lead category location, that sort of thing, we allow five days to return the lead. Um, we actually we actually look at every single one of those returns. And then we have people that look through every single campaign and lay over the returns, not just you from other attorneys. You know, if a lead said, hey, you know, they weren't really interested in legal help, they just had a question. Or they said, hey, my case was old, I'm not sure why I got contact or some red flag like that, those campaigns disappear. We're constantly looking at what's working. And then if you go the extra mile and go to your dispositions in your account and mark which leads are winning and which leads are working for you, then we can double down those campaigns to get you more leads. So this feedback loop, this quality, these filters, the live reps, all these things we do, the no contracts, um, I really think it sets us apart. And you add in the technology and the ability to connect with any platform, and I think it gives a lot of flexibility. Next. The benefits of legal leads. Well, I think there are many. I think um, whether you want to grow your firm, maybe everyone's content at the firm size they have now. But I think generally everyone wants more leads and calls. Um, you know, there's a lot of really great attorneys out there. Uh, no one really goes to very few law schools to teach how to get more clients in your doors. You know, you just hope if you're the best attorney, it's just going to happen from word of mouth. And of course, that's always the best referrals, right? But the bottom line is there's always um, more intake to fill up. There's always more cases. Um, you could always, always expand what you're doing. And again, sometimes, you know, you it's, it's great to be able to choose from a, a greater a, array of potential cases and prospects. 
um, and to, you know, these are people that need help too. So, you know, I'm not going to be like a social advocate here and say it's everyone's responsibility to help everyone possible because I know it's a business for all of you, but we see so many people that need legal help and there just aren't enough attorneys set up across the country in all the locations and all the categories. And again, we have some of the largest network of attorneys out there already taking leads. So it's kind of my mission in life to um, get more and more attorneys on the For Legal Leads network um, that we're marketing for. So we see a lot more connections between those seeking legal help and attorneys. Uh, was there a question? All right, so getting started, I'm gonna let Jennifer take over from here. Jennifer, as you know, is Director of Operations. Um, she started support team, head of support team, now Director of Operations operations. So she actually deals not only with attorneys, you know, getting set up like she used to do years ago, but even large marketing uh, accounts and competitors and all those people wanting leads. So she can pretty much, she's pretty, pretty well informed in this area. Go ahead, Jennifer. Thanks. You might be biased. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jennifer. Um, I have been with the company quite some time. I'm also the wife of the, uh, the founder, CEO, and genius behind what is for legalleads.com. Um, and I'm super proud of not only the company, but uh, the employees that we have working for us and for you, and also our, our whole uh, attorney network. I'm very, very proud of um, the, the wonderful firms that we're working with nationwide in all areas of law. So it is, it's very, very simple. Um, we do a lot of this end for you. So you can just sit back and wait for the leads to come in. And by wait, I mean, Sometimes it's instant. So it's super easy to get started. You go to fourlegalleads.com, you create an attorney account, and that's as simple as your contact information. From there, you'll hear from one of us. Um, one of my awesome team members will give you a call or email you, and you'll let us know the categories of law you practice. Maybe you do auto accident injury specifically. Maybe you're interested in family law, criminal defense, consumer law, um, maybe you want all of those personal injury leads, whether it's workers' comp, personal injury, med mal, auto. Um, we cover, like Vince said, about 40 plus categories, and we want to cater that to you and your firm specifically. So not only in the categories, but also in the geographic area that you're able to target. If you want to take leads nationwide because that fits your area of law, awesome. We love that, and we want to help you there. But we, we can focus in. We can focus in on the state. And if you're a very small firm and you can only handle a certain um, county or several counties, we can, we can certainly accommodate that for you as well. So we'll collect that information from you. We'll set up your account on our end so that you're only focused on that area of law in your particular state. And then we can even decide, are you going to take those live calls along with the web leads? So as Vince mentioned before, web leads are people who are seeking legal help online and choose to fill out an online form and answer the qualifying questions. That form comes to us in real time. We put it through our filters in real time and then off it goes to you and your account. If that category and that zip code fit what you have set up in your account. A live call is when that person chooses to call in instead of filling out that live uh, that web form. And uh, they will now, we'll be putting them through our call center. They're going to be asking the qualifying questions. And if they fit all of the questions that we would like associated with that particular category, then we will ring your phone with the person on the line waiting to speak with you directly. We love that because it cuts out the phone tag. It's a voicemail. I haven't been able to reach them for three days. That's just an innate inevitability with a lot of leads. Um, the no contact rate is simply, simply something that happens, but we want to keep that down to a minimum. And Live Pulse helps get rid of that. Um, so we decide with you, all right, would you like Live Calls in addition to the web leads? Web leads come in 24 seven when those requests are made. Live Calls, you can schedule for your availability. I only want the Monday through Friday, nine to five. Sure, fine. Don't forget you might miss out on the one that comes in at six o'clock, um, but it's entirely up to you how you want to schedule your availability for the live calls. We get that all set up for you. You fund your account as much or as little as you choose. Leads are uh, priced based on the category of law and the state that, um, that you're focused on based on the market in that particular area. You fund your account as much or as little as you want. Take advantage of funding bonuses if we have them going on at the time. And we will send you leads in real time as they come in until your account runs low balance, at which point 
fund your account again for more leads. As Vince mentioned, there are options to set up auto billing so you never miss out on leads while you are low balance. Um, that is an option available to you should you decide. Um, I always say hold off on that, try it out a couple rounds and then get that up and going. Some of our, our um, largest firms have auto billing going and just are constantly funded, constantly getting leads. Now, what happens when you start getting leads? I told you we do all of that. We did all of that for you. Now what happens? Well, you get the lead. Now you have to decide what you're doing on your end with that lead. It is advisable that you reach out to that lead immediately. Um, and that's going to be different for each firm, right? Um, if, you get a, if you get a lead at 4 a.m., are you going to call them right then and there? Or are you going to wait until Monday morning, 9 a.m. and go ahead and do that? That, that is entirely up to, up to your firm. And both are acceptable options. Um, reaching out to leads immediately is, is a really wonderful um, way to convert as many as possible. But it doesn't stop there because um, what happens if you don't reach the lead that time? Email, text, all of these are, are ways to reach leads and they are wanting to hear from you. So don't give up so, so quickly. Um, and then having an intake team, right? Even if you're a solo, solo practitioner, that's fine. That's fine. Just have a, a system in place. What do I do with that lead after I've tried to reach them? What do I do with that lead after I've communicated with them? What do I do with that lead after I've signed them up, right? Um, we have wonderful ways of getting credit for invalid leads. And, and what's an invalid lead? Um, an invalid lead would be a disconnected number. Um, they typed in the wrong number when they submitted the lead form or a wrong number. Again, maybe they typed it in wrong. Um, uh, if it's the wrong category, don't forget the consumer is self-selecting the category. And we do our best to flag things as they come in to make sure that they are the correct category. But sometimes it does happen. Request credit for that lead. We don't want you to pay for that. And we also want that information so we can put it back into our system and find ways to make it better for next time. The same goes for other qualifying questions. Vince mentioned, um, we want an identifiable liable party at fault for auto accident injury leads. Sometimes the person says, well, no, of course I wasn't at fault for this. The other person was. Well, you're gonna know a little bit more as you see the police report, as you speak with them, maybe they're gonna tell you something a little bit differently. If for some reason they said that they were not at fault and it turns out they were, you can request credit for that. And we wanna make sure that you get credit for that and we optimize the campaigns. There's a five day return window for any invalid lead and we want to do that. On the alternative side is if a lead was so successful for you, we'll also want to hear about that. And we are able to have you right there in your account with a click of a button say, hey, this lead was successful. So not only can we pull away our advertising from leads that are not converting, that are invalid, but we can push our advertising in the direction of the leads that are super successful for you. And then you start to get more and more of those types of leads. Um, there's a question here, what if you cannot reach the lead after trying many, many times? Well, again, like I said, that's inevitability. That's, that's going to happen. Um, that doesn't make it invalid necessarily, but we do want to help you with that. I know a lot of companies will say, well, sorry, you couldn't reach them validly. Uh, but, but we don't want to stop there because we want to make sure that we have, to have successful attorneys working with us. We want to make sure that we loop that back into our advertising to say, wow, a whole bunch of leads from this particular campaign are causing no contact issues. What are we going to do about that? So if ever there is a, uh, a lead where you're calling, you're emailing, you're texting, four days have passed, you've not been able to reach them. The voicemail is generic. You can't tell if it's the right person. Let us know. Um, you, can, you can put a note in your return request at that four-day mark saying, for four days, I've been reaching out to this person, email, phone, text. There's no way to determine if the contact information is accurate. And what we have is some background tools at our disposal where we can see if, hey, maybe that phone number is not registered to the same person that's listed on the lead. We'll credit you for that lead. If there's something that says, no, it looks like it's absolutely the correct person, keep reaching out. We will also tell you to do that. We'll say, hey, this looks like a good lead. We don't want you to miss out on an, on an opportunity here. 
keep reaching out to this person. If you do connect with this person after the five day return window and it happens to be invalid, you can still let us know and we'll give you courtesy credit outside the five day window. We want to not only have the information in our system and we, but we also want you to have success and get credit where credit is due. Just like the um, just dispositions that let us know when you win a, win a case, um, what's really cool about our system is you're basically crowdsourcing the feedback. So meaning that not just you, but if 100 other firms have told us a campaign is causing wins or 100 other firms have been like, hey, um, I'm having more no contacts with that, we able to use that data to basically increase your conversion rates by trimming the campaigns with more no contact. What we're looking for here is you not to look at every lead like, this lead didn't work for me, I didn't make a sale. We're looking for you to look at like the 20 leads you bought, the 10 leads you bought, 30 leads you bought and be like, okay, am I getting enough cases for that? Our goal is that of course, you're gonna be able to convert the most lead and contact most leads possible. And if you do have a no contact, it's an organic probability that you know that person's at work when you're calling and, and that stuff's gonna happen normally. We're looking to get rid of the no contacts that trend higher than normal, higher than average, so we can get rid of those campaigns, whether it's the demographic those campaigns are coming from or the location or the way that those, that advertising is being done. So our goal is to help you to succeed. And so we try to do the most possible to make that happen. So off that is, no, no, go ahead. Go ahead, Matt. That's fine. Um, before you get into that, Vince, <laughs> I, I do want to talk about uh, Matt's last slide. And that's that's what, what helps a, a firm succeed, right? Vince was just touching on it. Expectations, right? expectations is that not every lead will convert. Um, you you want to make sure that you know that not every lead will convert, that you will have to request credit for some leads. That will happen. And that is okay. Um, and that there will be a portion of leads that will convert. And as Vince was saying, you want to make sure that what you got as a result of those successful campaigns made or those successful cases made the whole campaign worth it, right? If you funded $4,000 and you come out with $23,000, obviously you lost a couple leads along the way, but that campaign was worth it. Fund your account again, begin again, and next time we'll be even more successful. Um, there's a question. Do you know for each category what the conversion rate is for clients? Ah, that is a great question. I love this question. Thank you, Leslie, for asking. If there is a lead generation firm out there telling you what the conversion rate is per category in your location, they are lying to you. That means they have had complete responses from every lead that went out to their buyers across the board, and they know which leads converted and which leads did not. And I guarantee you, attorneys out there are not giving that sort of feedback. We allow that option in our system. That's why we say, hey, update the status. Did this close for you? Did this one close for you? But I guarantee you, most attorneys are not gonna take the time to do that. So they're making up that number. Now, what we know as far as conversion rate goes is that attorneys continue to fund their account. That means they are successful. That means it's making sense for them to continue to do that. Nobody's gonna continue to throw money at something that is not working. Um, it's so important to have communication. This is a partnership, right? We do our end on the advertising side, but we can't do that without your feedback. So if you do return leads, that's fantastic. It gives us the feedback that's required. If you update your lead status, this was successful for us. Fantastic, that helps us do our updates. If you email me and say, hey, Jennifer, something's a little weird with this campaign. All of a sudden we're getting a whole bunch of disconnected numbers. What's going on here? I say, thank you so much. And I attribute that all the way back and we figure out what's going on and mix it. So communication is probably, I would say Vince, maybe, maybe you disagree, but I think you'd agree with me that communication is number one. This is a partnership, but that doesn't mean you have to do all the work. We'll do our work, you do your work, and we come together as a team to make it better for the next round every single time. Um, intake practices, I touched on it a little bit before, right? Um, making sure that you are following up on those leads, right? If somebody says, hey, I can't talk right now, but call me back, don't let that ball drop. You want to make sure that every lead has an opportunity. Every lead is an opportunity for you to um, get your case there. And you want, you want to make sure that you do that. 
Um, I talk about the expectations, of course, and this part's on you, right? Make sure you have a good product. Make sure you are a good person. You're a good attorney. You answer the phone professionally, right? We're bringing the lead to you, but we can only bring the horse to the water, <laughs> right? At that point, or the, the water to the horse in this particular instance. Um, <laughs> We want to make sure that you answer the phone professionally. Hi, I'm attorney so-and-so, so that they feel comfortable divulging their, their concern to you, that they feel comfortable retaining you and trusting you to take on their case, right? You still have a product that you need to sell on top of the lead coming to you in the first place. So there's a, there's a, lot, of, um, a lot of factors at play here, but we are, we are excited to hopefully work with you and get a chance to um, see your success with the leads. All right, Matt, now you can go to the next one. So the pandemic, of course, was tragic for a lot of people, um, but there was some silver linings to it. And that was that um, technology that, you know, even lawyers, you know, I work with personally are like, oh, no, no, I don't do anything online. I sign everything in person and all these different things. Um, but we saw a lot of companies have to finally take that next step and, you know, start signing documents online, start being able to collect payments online, start using a lot of practice management software like Clio and others um, so that they could do all that. And with that, it basically took what would have taken, you know, attorneys two, three, five, 10 years to do, and suddenly they're all doing it within a year or two. Now, I know that's not everyone, and our leads and calls can even work with your traditional systems. Um, but what's great is we are perfect. You basically just get multiples of value um, if you already have intake systems set up. So buy our leads and calls for the traditional intake so that you, know, you can just put them into the systems you have. But some of you out there have platforms where you're ready to go. You can load leads into your CRM. You can load leads into your mailing list. You, you have people ready to call and see if they're right for your services, set up appointments for you. So you know, move them towards that signed retainer. Um, well, once you have those systems set up, you just need more leads and calls because if those systems are in place, uh, the fastest way to growth, of course, is just to, to get the, the pipeline flowing. So this beautiful system you set up now has more leads and calls. So we can integrate with anything, meaning that we can send you the leads by email. We can send you the leads by text. We can call. If you're another firm or consultant out there who is um, handling leads for multiple clients, we can ping post those leads to you so you can distribute them to your clients. Um, we can connect to your, your platform. So if you have an intake system like Clio Grow, that sort of thing, which I've mentioned a few times, we can do it. If you're using Zapier to do something on your own, where you're basically connecting your pieces of software using Zapier as an interconnection tool. We can work with that. We can pretty much work with any public facing API, whether it's JSON, whether it's curl, whether it's OAuth, you know, whether you need an XML, PHP, um, RESTful post, it doesn't matter. We can connect to it. Um, we can match our fields to anything. So we're pretty proud of, of our ability to do that. Um, we can transfer calls to you. We can offer concurrency. We can limit it how many calls come in at a time. Unless you're a big national firm, you probably won't have to worry about that. Um, but we have all sorts of technology. So what we saw is when the pandemic hit, we saw a few firms contact us right away, kind of in a panic saying, hey, please stop um, advertising because we, uh, you know, we, we shut our doors. Um, we're not coming to work. And then what was really interesting is over the next month or two, we saw marketing campaigns shoot up because what happened is the people still needed legal help out there across the country in multiple categories. Sure, some parts of the justice system shut down, but the bottom line is, of course, as you all very well know, people still had legal issues um, and they need those um, attended to. So people were, we were still seeing all the same requests coming in um, for legal help. And so attorneys basically started increasing their marketing so that they could capture those. And so a lot of firms not only were successful during the pandemic, um, not only modernized what they were doing, um, but they were able to grow um, because they were able to connect and we were able to help them connect to those prospective clients. Um, a lot of other good things came out of the pandemic. Um, firms suddenly who were insistent that the person had to be within 15 miles of them so they could, you know, walk into their office suddenly realized they could close all the same cases, um, double, triple the distance away across the whole state. They set up systems where they could handle the whole state and suddenly they could grow their firm exponentially. We saw firms who had been very specialized um, 
or preferring is a better way to say it, a specific area of practice that suddenly we're like, you know what, um, I've been getting, you know, wills and trusts, but go ahead and send me the probate leads too. Or, you know, I've been doing all personal injury auto, um, auto accidents, but, you know, I'd like to actually work some of these worker comp leads as well. So you saw firms that were able to add other areas of law uh, to different locations. And we offer complete customization. So if you have, you know, three firms in California or one in Arizona, you can of course have a certain set of areas of practice for one and a different set of areas of practice for another, different distance rules, all sorts of customization like that. So we saw some pretty exciting things come out of the pandemic and, um, and it just continues. Um, the live call volume grows. Um, the tools we have, I'm looking at automating dispositions. Um, we're kind of brainstorming through the first part of that so that we can actually send, send out a little feedback questionnaire on each lead to say, hey, how did this lead do? Um, some of you might have intake teams you prefer to log into our system and just go through that all at once. But some of you might you know, prefer those go to your intake team so they can let us know how it went. That will just help you have more successful campaigns down the road. And that's basically our goal. Uh, is there anything you Go ahead, Jeff. No, go ahead. Uh, I'll let you go ahead and finish up here. Sure. Um, go ahead and take a look at our poll question. Are you interested in using an online lead generation company to connect you to prospective clients requesting an attorney or a lawyer? Um, you are welcome to reach out to us on our website. We have a little chat. Go ahead and chat with us. You can email support at fourlegalleads.com. Again, support at the number fourlegalleads.com. Um, we would love to speak with you. Um, you can also give us a call, 888-847-4437. Uh, you'll get the recording of this, so you'll hear that again, and we'll put that in the chat. Thank you. Um, we would love to speak with you um, and, and discuss your area of law, your geographic area. That way, we can figure out um, the best price points for you and get you up and going. We would really love to work with you. Okay, well, it looks like that's the end of our question. So that is all the time we have for today. I would like to thank our sponsor for Legal Leads and all of you for attending our webinar today as part of the LTRC Industry Insights Series. I'd also like to thank Jennifer and Vince for presenting today. If you are curious about future webinars, please check out the ABA LTRC page or follow our Twitter at LTRC for updates. You can keep up with Four Legal Leads at fourlegalleads.com. We will now conclude the webinar. Bye everyone.